When building 3D geometry, you're going to want to have the most optimized mesh you can possibly have. And there are several tools in Lightwave that'll, that help us optimize our mesh. And I thought we could take a look at a couple of them. I thought we could take a look at reduce points and reduce polygons. So I'm going to just come over to the Create tab and create a flat plane that has um, several segments. So I'm just going to raise that up. And sometimes you will end up with um, a flat plane that has a lot of coplanar or polygons that share the same plane uh, right next to each other and you don't need the actual segments uh, and what we can do is we can grab these polygons and if we wanted to we could merge polygons with shift Z the problem with merge polygons is it leaves these points behind Okay, so we could select them or we could go over to W for statistics and any point that is connected to zero polygons we could select and hit delete. Or we could select this geometry, come over to the construct tab and choose reduce polygons. And what it's going to do is it's going to look at the, uh, the degrees and if it's under that, um, under that angle it's going to um, allow us to remove them but notice that it's also removing the points let me undo go back to reduce polys see the delete points option well that can come in that can come in handy we also have a few other options like uh, collinear point removal and we can set the uh, the intensity of that here I'm gonna just select all of it hit reduce polys and set it to, to none and hit OK and now I have one polygon. Now it removed all the points that aren't connected to any polygons, but see these extra points along here? Well, if I wanted to get rid of those, that's where reduce points would come into play. Let's come over to reduce points. And we have uh, an intensity here. You can set up a custom degrees, but we've got 0, 5, 15, 30. I'm just going to use medium. Uh, I want to delete the points, hit OK and now I've got a nice clean mesh. It doesn't have any geometry that's not needed uh, whether that's polygons or points. So that works on a flat plane but if I wanted to create this flat plane with four points well I would just use the default settings of the box tool and I wouldn't need to go through all that. So where could this come into play? Well I'll show a couple examples. I'm just gonna create a ball shape and select some of the geometry here use H for stretch and I'm just gonna flatten that out and I'll move it back in okay so now I have this shape where I need all the po points and polys along here because that's what's helping give this rounded shape but then I've got this big flat area that uh, I don't need all this geometry inside here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to construct reduce polys and let's just use the default settings and there we go it got rid of all of that there are no extra points the points left behind those got deleted okay and then I could take this and bevel it if I'd like and uh, and work that way so that's a that's an example of using reduce points uh, sorry reduce poly polygons let's take a look at um, where this can also we can use both um, reduce polys and reduce points. I'm going to come over to layer 3. Let's just draw a quick curve. So I'm going to come over to spline draw and I'm going to put points close together if I want to create a, a, a somewhat straight line. Okay, if I, if the farther away they are it's going to be a curve. So I'm going to come up here kind of make that somewhat straight. Come over here make that straight but then I want it to go into some curves like so and do something like that okay I'm gonna copy and paste that into layer 4 I'm gonna freeze it with control D which is the same as going over to the construct tab freeze control D okay so now I've got a polygon I converted that curve into a polygon but the problem is I've got extra points that I don't need okay and if I want to clean that up, I'm going to come over to and say I want to straighten some of this out. I'm going to come over to Construct, Reduce Points, and let's set this to, well, let's try 15. Okay. And there we go. Look how much cleaner this is. I was able to reduce the points. Okay. And I got a much cleaner, more optimized piece of geometry. Okay. And say I want to um, 
take this and uh, punch a hole through it. I want to perform a boolean. Sometimes you can speed up, well a lot of times, just about every time, you can speed up a boolean operation on an ingon, something that has uh, a polygon that has more than four points. Um, if you uh, cut it up a little bit so that it doesn't have to do that during the operation. So sometimes what you can do is triple, I'm going to extrude, the sh triple was uh, shift T, and then I'm going to put my cutter in the background, we'll place it here, and shift B for boolean, subtract. It'll happen right away. Now, sometimes when you, before you, if you don't triple on a boolean, you have a crazy ingon, something that has, you know, I don't know, 40 to 100 points or more, uh, you'll wait a long time for that boolean operation, but if you triple it first, it'll happen uh, right away because it doesn't have to do the calculation of, of finding uh, the points along the edge. So now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and hit M for merge to merge the two pieces together after the boolean operation. And I want to clean up this is uh, not looking all that great. I want to clean this up. I could go and select all these triangles and and hit M for mer uh, sorry shift Z for merge polys or I could just come over to the construct tab reduce polys and hit OK and now it's nice and clean. Okay, So that's just a couple examples of working with reduce polys and reduce points found under the construct tab.